So back in 2018 I did a series of three videos about accessories for your motorhome. I did essential accessories, recommended accessories and nice to have. Uh, I've already remade the essential accessories so you can find a link to that up here. I thought I'd remake the recommended and the nice to, nice to have accessories as one video because a lot of this is going to be dependent on how you use your motorhome. So I'll explain as we go along. So all the links to the accessories that you find here will be in the description below, down there. So in this second video, what would I say are recommended accessories? It's going to take me a while to find these uh, accessories in, in amongst this lot here. Um, the first one is the tailor-made screen, which I think I've got over here. Yeah. Tailor-made screen or any other thermal screen uh, that uh, you think is a good make. Tailor-made I've used for several years and I, I think they're a good make. And you can buy these direct from tailor-made. Uh, the link will be down below. But what this does is it keeps the condensation off the windows in the van. It's absolutely brilliant for doing that, particularly on colder days. You don't want a load of condensation building up on your windows, obviously in the cab area. Uh, the windows either side are not usually a problem because they're actually double glazed effectively. So tailor-made screen. Something else I can't actually show you, but it's up on the roof, a solar panel. Solar panel is great for topping up your batteries. So I would highly recommend it. If your motor hasn't already got one, get a solar panel. It means you can spend more time when you're not on hookup and that might be off grid and it might just be in a car park parked up for the day in a nice location and you've gone for a walk and come back and you can be sure that your leisure battery has been topped up. Spirit level. When you arrive on a campsite and you want to know if you're level, one of these is very useful and it can tell you if you're level and if you think of it a bit like a, that's the front of the motor and that's the back of the motor you've got two bubbles on this one and you can get yourself level very easily just by leaving it on the top there and having a look at it the next thing is something called aqua pure sorry to jump in here but he's talking rubbish as usual purisol is what he's talking about purisol is a liquid that you can drop into your water tank to clean your water tank puriclean i've used that several times and that is a granular form and it has to be dissolved trouble with puriclean is it leaves a bit of a residue behind and it takes quite a bit of flushing out of the tank so purisol is what you want back to the video the other thing is tank cleaner your waste tank can get horrible actually and get all sorts of fats and things in there and it really does need a good clean out every so often and what I use for that is I told you I wouldn't find anything it's Phoenix waste tank cleaner and I've used this for a few years and I'm going to be doing that before we go away the end of this month and uh, I think it's almost essential but it's one of our recommended accessories our motorhome is supposed to be low profile um, but we still find we need a step in the entrance to make it get easier getting in and out it's a bit easier on the uh, the old legs and knees as you get older and our our one doubles as a as a sign to leave when you go out this space is taken it's also useful to have a set of folding steps these are ones we've had for a while and they fold out and it gives you a double step up. I use these when I'm cleaning the windscreen on the front of the van or perhaps when we're fitting the driveway awning. It just gives you that extra bit of reach on there and it doesn't take up too much space in the motor. And they just fold away like that. Back up food. It was useful to have a bit of backup food. You never know when you're going to need it. <laughs> so keep a few tins and packets in your motorhome. And uh, if you do fancy popping out for the day, it's nice to know that you have got some food ready and waiting for you. 
portable barbecue. This is a Kadak Safari Chef and it's a fairly portable one. Doesn't take up too much room and it is really useful if you fancy cooking outdoors and who doesn't? Uh, Kadak Safari Chef. Struggling to find things. A drying mat. This is good because it means you don't need one of those horrible plastic drainers. Just plonk that on your your kitchen worktop, it's microfiber and it will dry your pots or at least the water running off your pots won't run everywhere else. So use one of those, it takes up an awful lot less space than one of those plastic draining mats. I highly recommend microfiber towels. We've had these uh, various versions of microfiber towels but they're great because they pack up really small don't take up a lot of space and if, you, if you've got dogs as well you know how many times you're going to need towels. We've got loads of these in the van, really useful microfiber towels. Wash bags. Get some wash bags, somewhere to put all your knickknacks and everything. This one is a Avajex. I just found it in, on Amazon and it's quite good. It's got loads of room for stuff with razor blades and toothbrushes and all those sort of things. And you can hang it up. So that's really handy to have. Got pockets in the back, on the side. And it's so good, we just use it at home as well. So it just means you put all your stuff in there and you just take it into the, into the house. And when you're ready to go away, just bring it out again wash bags. TVs, Avtex TV. Um, recommend the Avtex, uh, they've been really good. We've had the TV over here for about eight years now and it's been excellent. We're thinking of updating it perhaps to get a slightly slimmer one uh, or slightly smaller. I wouldn't go too big with the TVs. I think 16 inch is probably big enough. There are some 32 inch ones and unless you've got a massive motorhome I wouldn't go that that mad. Right. In amongst everything I think we've mentioned this many times but most of our TV viewing comes through this little gadget here. This is an Amazon Fire TV stick and it gives us all sorts of things. Amazon Prime for movies we can watch YouTube on it, we can watch BBC iPlayer and ITV Hub and all those sort of things. We very rarely nowadays actually watch any, um, what do you call it, um, I forgot what it's called now, TV via the aerial, brain's gone. But Amazon Fire Stick. This is a Netgear MiFi, so it's a Netgear M2 MiFi router uh, and it means a mobile internet Wi-Fi. So this takes the signal from the mobile network, produces a Wi-Fi signal that you can use to log on to your computer, to log on to your laptop, tablet, and indeed the Fire TV uses this to give us some TV. I've got a video on that and check the link out below. I'd also recommend having two providers for your mobile Wi-Fi signal. We've got Vodafone for the MiFi and we've got EE for our mobiles and it's always good because you can always use your mobiles as a hotspot for watching TV and for connecting to the internet when Vodafone doesn't work and vice versa. Battery toothbrushes or rechargeable toothbrushes. I know there are some rechargeable ones. This is a battery one. It takes a couple of AA batteries and we can leave this in the motorhome uh, highly recommended because you'll always forget a toothbrush. So just leave one of these in the van and uh, you can get your teeth clean. Something that's uh, one, of, uh, one of our recent additions here. We've struggled for a while uh, with finding a decent vacuum cleaner to replace our portable Dyson cleaner. And we found this one. It's, it, it's a G-Tech and uh, it works really well. It does what it's supposed to do and it's got quite a long handle so you don't have to reach down too far to to do uh, what you need to do yeah. 
and it charges up fairly quickly and it seems to hold its charge very well as well so yeah in the winter I highly recommend these I've slipped over more than once on the ice on a campsite and uh, bought these really after cracking my head a couple of times probably not done me any good at all but these are like snow chains for your feet and they stretch over your vi oh, uh, over your I'm going to say over your tires over your, your shoes and they provide grip in icy conditions and snowy conditions they're called yak tracks from walker so look them up very good whilst you're on the way to wherever you're going uh, there's a couple of things that you might want to think about for your driving and first one is a decent sat nav and you need a sat nav that uh, you can feed in the dimensions of your motorhome the height i mean often motorhomes are nearly three meters tall the width most motorhomes can go up to 2.5 meters wide and ours is nearly eight meters long so you want something you can feed the dimensions into the sat nav and it will take care of not taking you under low bridges or through width restrictions that you can't fit through um, this is the Avtex Tura 2 we've done loads of videos on this I'll leave the links in the description below check that out it comes with a sticky pad so all you do is you just plonk it on the dashboard and it doesn't move about this has been brilliant highly recommend it the other thing is a dash cam uh, mixed feelings about this dash cam it's one we reviewed and I wasn't overly impressed with the quality of the picture but to be honest you're not looking for quality pictures from your <laughs> dash cam you're looking for them to record any incidents that you might suffer whilst you're driving dash cam is absolutely essential this is a van true I think it's a van true I've forgotten the number of it now Oh, clever, isn't it? I'll leave the link uh, in the description for this Vantro dash cam. So check it out. And uh, either way, essential dash cam. A good map is is nice to have. We don't tend to use maps that much these days. We tend to look at the sat nav uh, on Google Earth and the campsite's website to have a look where we're going but sometimes a nice big map and this is quite a good one just handy for figuring out your place in the universe where you are this is the AA Road Atlas Britain 2022 if you're looking for a map I'd recommend this I think it's a good size map it's not too small and it gives you a fair bit of detail let me show you that and if you need a map for planning, the Caravan and Motorhome Club provide one with your pack every year. And this is quite good because it shows where the campsites are in relation to everything else. Just really useful. It's a site location map. Any trouble with maps, you forget how to fold them. <laughs> the other thing to mention about driving is I highly recommend having some mirror protectors. We've got the Milenko mirror protectors on our door mirrors. I have to resist the temptation to say wing mirrors and not wing mirrors anymore. I've had a couple of occasions where someone's got a bit close to us and clattered the, uh, the mirror. And those mirrors are expensive. They've got heated elements in them. They've got uh, motors on them and they're not cheap to replace. So it's worth trying to protect them. Like I say, we've got the Milenko mirror protectors there are other makes available but those ones seem to have protected our mirrors which is what they're supposed to do if like us you stay on campsites longer than a few days occasionally you might want to consider some accessories that would help make that stay a little bit easier particularly if you don't want to move your motorhome and uh, you just want to stay put for a while you might want to consider towing a small car behind you. I've done a load of videos about our VW Up that we tow behind us using a tower frame smart glide system. So link in the description below, check that out. We've also got a drive away awning. Um, we tend to use it more as a static awning if I'm perfectly honest, 
but it does mean that you, if you want to go out in the motorhome occasionally, you can actually just leave the drive away awning uh, in situ and you can come back and you can reattach it if you want to. Or you can just leave it standing, freestanding on its own. So a drive away awning or something similar where you could leave your table and chairs out and uh, somewhere nice to sit out when it's perhaps a little bit drafty outside uh, or it's getting cool in the evening. An awning or drive away awning is a great thing to have. Also a great thing to have is a Tassimo. <laughs> I did wonder whether to leave this in as a recommended accessory, but if you like your coffee, I would highly recommend getting a Tassimo or indeed any other coffee maker of your choice. Uh, Tassimo has been good for us. It's very simple to use. It works with pods. You just pop a pod in there, stick your cap under there and switch it on. Obviously needs electricity supply to work. Again, it's debatable whether this is a recommended accessory, but a toaster. Good to have a toaster. I like a bit of toast in the morning and before I go to bed. So a toaster for me is a recommended accessory. This is one we got from Todd's. It's, a, it's only a cheap one. It's a fairly low wattage one, so it doesn't take up too much electricity and it doesn't take up too much space either. It's a two, two slice toaster and it's a fairly wide one. So, so have a look out for a toaster. If you're staying on site for a fair time, it's a really good idea to have something you can top up your water. We use an aqua roll and it's a barrel that you can use and you can roll it along to the water point, fill it up with water, roll it back and then you can fill up your tank. And to fill up your tank, we can use an external water pump. And it looks like this. It's got a pump on the one end and it's got I'm dripping water on me and it's got a connector on the other, other end. This connector is interesting because this is a HEO solution connector and this allows you to plug something into your water connection and you can just leave it, I'm getting dripped on here, you can just leave it in situ whilst this pumps the water out of your aqua roll and into your water tank. Wastemaster, you've got, you're going to fill up your waste tank and you're going to need to empty it. A good thing to have is a Wastemaster. These are from Hitchman and they allow you to empty your waste tank into them and you can roll it along to the emptying point on the campsite and get rid of your water, your washing up water and your shower water. They are absolutely invaluable if you don't want to move your motorhome. Another recommended accessory is this collapse extendable waste pipe. And what this does is it collapses up into a much smaller size, as you can see. But I use one of these for connecting my waste tank outlet to the waste master. You can also use a group of these to extend your waste tank outlet to an on-site drain point if you're on a serviced pitch. The other use for it is if, you're go, if you go to a motorhome service point, sometimes if you're not perfectly positioned over the grate, you can't reach it. And one of these is, or two of these, or three of these, is absolutely invaluable for allowing you to empty your waste tank. So, highly recommended. I wasn't sure whether to include this one, but I think I will anyway, because sometimes when you're outside, you need a little table. You don't want to take the big table outside. So this is quite useful. And this is a high gear. Oh, <laughs> How easy this is to, do, to show. But this is a high gear stool come table. It turns into a table simply by putting the top on it. But it's also, it's also and it's quite mucky, I don't know why that's so mucky, but it's also quite useful if you have guests that come and you haven't got enough chairs. So if you've got, you're have got entertaining people, a, a chair like this is quite useful. I would say it's only supposed to take up to 80 kilograms, so I, I can't use it. There's a confession. Whilst we're on the subject of sitting outside, this is an Oztent King Goanna chair 
think it's called. We've had these for many, many years. We're actually looking for some new chairs, but it's a really good idea to have a look at some chairs. And I would highly recommend actually sitting on the chair and making sure it's comfortable and it's what you want. Uh, please don't just buy one of these just because you see me using it. Chairs are a very individual thing and you need to make sure that chair is comfortable. I I'll try not to buy them online. It's one of the few things I wouldn't buy online. I'd want to sit in it. These are fairly comfortable, but uh, they're a little bit low down these days for me and uh, a bit of a struggle to get out of. Ugh. Showing my age. Laundry tabs. <laughs> Many times we've gone we've gone to campsites because of the laundry, so we can do our laundry when we're on a longer trip. Make sure you take some laundry tabs and put them in a sealed container so they don't go off. The other, th the other thing to have whilst you're thinking about laundry is enough cash to pay for laundry tabs. These days a lot of sites are switching to laundry tokens and they don't take card for those laundry tokens so you'll need a bit of cash uh, to buy your laundry tokens for the dishwasher, dishwasher, for the washing machine and the tumble dryer. Cash is also a good thing to have on hand when you're buying some replacement Caligas sim cylinders because, again, they won't take uh, card for uh, Caligas on a lot of sites. So I always have some spare cash. I know these days we tend to pay for most things though with, our, um, with our cards. Uh, it makes it so much easier, but do take some cash with you. If you're using your motorhome for shorter campsite stays or you're just planning to fill up your motorhome from the motorhome service point you might want to consider a couple of these things and one of them is a shorter water hose i use one from uh, a kit that i got for the aqua roll and it's it's about 10 meters and it works very well and i don't always need the the long hose for filling up so have a shorter hose as well. The other thing that you might want to consider is a shorter electric cable. You don't always need the full 25 meters of cable that you tend to see in accessory shops. I've got an older cable that I've cut down to 10 meters and reattached the plug on it. And uh, it works very well on most campsites. And it saves you having a load of leads trailing all over the place. The other thing you might want to consider instead or as well or as a awning is a rollout canopy. And uh, a canopy like we've got on the side of the motorhome home that came with the motorhome home is a very useful thing to, do, to have. It keeps the sun off you and if it's raining it can keep the rain off you as well. Just a nice bit of shade uh, and you can just use it. Word of warning though, don't use it in high winds or torrential weather, you really need to think about winding it back in if uh, it starts raining. We've seen plenty of people with rollout canopies that have ended up with a canopy the other side of the van that it should normally be on. So you don't It wouldn't be uh, a video if I didn't mention the Jackery. I know you've seen loads of these uh, on various videos, people reviewing them, but I would just say how useful one of these is when you need to charge your phones or you're off grid and you need a bit of mains power. This is just Jackery 1000. It is quite heavy, but it will power your hair dryers and, uh, and other things. So it's a thousand watt output AC and you've got a load of DC points. So I would recommend one of these if you can afford it and you think it's worth it. Have a look at one of these. Duvalets are wonderfully comfortable and they are a mattress topper that's built into a sleeping bag. And if you've got single beds like us, it actually is wonderful because single beds on a single duvet, uh, the duvet always kept falling off the bed. Uh, it can't do that with a duvalet. So highly recommended duvalets. So let us know what I've missed in this uh, accessory video. It seems like I've covered an awful lot of accessories. There's bound to be something I've missed. If you think that there's something I should take off, <laughs> let me know. And uh, just let us know how you get on with your accessories. All I've got to do now is put all this lot back. So, <laughs> so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, found it useful, you know what to do. And if you haven't already, 
please subscribe, hit the notifications icon, and you'll get updates when we release another video like this. So, we'll see you soon. Bye then.